your honor, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Well, it looks like it's going to be sunny and sentimental, at least for the first half of the day today. The moon is the ruling planet of the day. It's also in Aries. Aries is your opposite sign. That means you're emotionally focused on your long-term partnerships, your LTRs, as I like to put it. So you are emotionally sensitive in every long-term partnership, including the one to yourself. That sensitivity can play in your favor. You can have a nice romantic evening tonight and go on a date, or it can play to the dark side of the moon, which means maybe you're sensitive and your partner says something and that triggers you and you blow up and you get emotional. It's really up to you, Libra, and how you want to react to it. But I am saying out of the two, you're the sensitive one with the moon in Aries. Now, as if on the sun, the moon is the ruling planet. And what may be coming up is not really so much about long-term relationships, but more about your inner child. We're in chapter one now of Sun and Aquarius, and Libra's this month are working on getting back into their inner child. This is the heart chakra, if you don't know. This is the place that is endowed with your personal dreams, what you want romance to be, basically what you want to have fun with in life, okay? That's creativity, love, what is fun? So if your fun is being squashed by your partnership, we well can see how the two trends will go hand in hand, right? Partnership is squashing my fun. Damn it, I want to have fun. Boom, there's the flare up. So what you should pay attention to is what's in the way of your fun. And there's going to be a bit of a breakdown over the weekend. Uranus will be hitting the day Saturday night or so. That means a breakdown. And the focus of the breakdown is your inner child. Is it getting to play? Is it not getting to play? Are you getting to be creative or not getting to be creative? Maybe you're an artist, but you've been working so hard at the office, you haven't had time to paint, and then you have this breakdown and a temper tantrum. Well, that's the universe saying, hey, we need to create space for this part of your state of consciousness to live as well. So try not to overreact. It's only chapter one, and we're trying to identify what we want to fix. Then Saturday and Sunday, you are extra sensitive, Libra. The moon moves into Taurus, shifting emotional focus from long-term partnerships now into trust and intimacy. So you're going to be very sensitive at all the borders on Saturday and Sunday. That's the border between life and death, the border between you and another person in a sexual way, any boundary, anywhere, you are sensitive. And if you're overwhelmed or feeling vulnerable, I recommend you transplant yourself into a safe space for that two-day period. Then also, I want to say, speaking of space, come on down to the most loving space on the internet. We're having a promotion on SoulGarden.tv for all YouTubers that defect. Come on down to the mothership, create a profile, send me an email that says, I defect YouTube, and I will enter you into a contest to win one of four free readings with me at the end of this month. And that entry will be on camera. You'll see me drawn out of a hat and reading live. So don't miss it. It's a good opportunity. All right, Your Honor, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. Be good to yourself, and I'll see you on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So